Yo, white boy Steve Nash, put me in the clutch and I breeze right past. I'm a master at kicking ass, sir. I'll be the pastor, the bastard, no ever after could come and capture my flag when it's half mass for these half ass backwards rappers. I never master the craft, y'all. I'm half in the bag, coming back for the millions. I give a fuck about a dude up in a video. Look at y'all whipping on a rando like you're getting on. Put me on a motherfucking beat. I'm a criminal, sending y'all to another place where it's storming. So run your banks like JP Morgan. I'm swarming this little world here all around now. Bow down to a true king, got the crown now. Wild out like I'm Nick Cannon on some Henny shit. I give a fuck, I'm the best in Connecticut, I'm dead in it, there'll never be another that can come rebuttal, if you wanna test me, you can step up and I'll put you under, that's for any motherfucker in this rap game, step right in my crosshairs and I'm blasting, last thing you wanna do now is try to test me, cause y'all dudes number two like Pepsi, Pesci, dig another hole like Goodfellas, I can really give a fuck now what you tell us. What up everybody, my name is Freeze, I'm from Waterbury, Connecticut, I'm a rapper, hip hop artist, MC extraordinaire. <laughs> I started making music pretty much the same way I think most people do. I was a little kid and um, I just would listen to songs on the radio and I was first influenced by hip hop, I think from a Cypress Hill video that came on like during the day and my mom actually started yelling at my older brother because he was letting me watch it and I was only like five years old at the time. So like that kind of intrigued me a little bit. It kind of got me wondering like what was going on here with this music and that's kind of how it all began. I started rhyming when I was in the seventh grade, but I didn't really take it that serious because I had no confidence at that time. Like, you know, nobody really rapped where I was coming from. And, uh, you know, you really didn't hear about anybody locally. Like, everybody you knew that rapped was famous already. So when I started rhyming and, like, really trying to, like, craft my style, like, I really kept it to myself. It wasn't until I was probably about 14 when I really started showcasing my skills and trying to do something with my music. Around that time, I linked up with a couple of my friends and we formed a group called Code Orange, and uh, that's kind of where it all began. Recording in a major uh, recording studio professionally, and um, I had a producer at the time whose name was Mr. Grinch, and we started just making beats in the lab and uh, making an album. I didn't really know what I was doing at the time as far as where I was going and what was going to happen with the music, but it started getting a lot of attention. Um, I kind of took a hiatus for a while from music at that point and really just started working on my style again. And it wasn't until 2007 that I released my first album, which is called Red Snow, which to date, you know, has, has done very well for my career and kind of put me on the map. After that, I released a, another album, LP, called The Righteous Path on Long Range Distribution. Um, and that's kind of, you know, my style just kind of took off from there and I was still developing and things were brewing and I was started doing shows and started getting more attention doing things and uh, really started to um, make a name for myself locally and throughout the country on the underground scene. After that I kind of took another little bit of a hiatus and started working on my style a little bit more. Um, when I came back I released my last full length album, Mr. Gone Bad, in 2014. So in 2014 we really started like working on our brand and really starting like a movement with this music and uh, we started doing this group called Beyond Top Secret with myself and Explicit and our band. So Beyond Top Secret is really different. It's a different brand. I think it's a different feeling. Um, we've taken it more hip hop oriented now, um, but I really like the diversity that we had going on and a lot of people said that they didn't you know, hear that stuff anymore. So that kind of felt good. The music we've been working on is very diverse, but it's also very like appealing, I think, to some people. It's, it's definitely more, I wouldn't say commercial, but it's definitely more uh, upbeat than some of the music that we've done in the past. And uh, I think from an MC's point of view, the, the kids that are really looking for the lyricism are going to enjoy it. And I think people that just like all around catchy music are going to enjoy it as well. For you. Love all the supporters and fans out there. That's right. From Mr. Freeze and explicit. See you guys in 2016.